What is DMR? Designated marksman rifle, weapon used by a squad designated marksman in the United States Army Firearm Infantry Squad. Hams are doing that now? That can't be right. That can't be right. DMR radio. What is DMR? Here we go. DMR. Improved voice quality, improved functionality such as location information, improved security, improved channel efficiency. KD4 NW, KW4 BET. Hey Brian, how you doing? KD4 NW. I was meaning to ask you earlier about the DMR. I've heard people talking about DMR and uh, I, I, what what is that all about? I, I don't know anything about DMR. I've heard people saying DMR, Brandmeister and all this stuff. I, it, some digit, some new thing. DMR. That's a digital mobile radio. Yeah, it's been around. It first come out about 2005. And uh, it's starting to get a little popular. There's three different tiers of it, tier one, two, and three. The first tier and the second tier, I think that was developed around 2005, and it was over in uh, European telecommunications. They um, they come up with tier one. That's kind of like uh, our uh, uh, FRS, uh, Family Radio Service. Uh, it's non-licensed, just uh, and you can actually have uh, two different conversations within that uh, narrow bandwidth uh, because you use time slots. So it's, it's pretty interesting. Um, you can, uh, there's towers with repeaters. You can, you can still do simplex. You can still go through a repeater. And then it's, it's real popular too on uh, uh, HTs and uh, little home hotspots that'll get you into the network and uh, Brandmeister is one of the most popular. You can talk all over the world on different talk groups. So it's just pretty neat. Check it out. Hey, do you have you have one of those radios? I do. I have. Uh, I actually have three different types. Uh, the first one, is kind of the most economical, I'd say, is the MD uh, 380, made by TYT. It's been out for a little while, and uh, so it's only 440, but it'll do uh, DMR and uh, 440 analog, and uh, it uh, it's a pretty neat little radio. But they've just come out with one not too long ago this year, the TYT MD that's 2017, the one, that's the one they were talking about. and it's a uh, dual mode, dual band. It'll do uh, two meter and 440, MD. and then also do DMR and analog. Yeah. So that makes that's that's making it really popular because you you can use it for your local two meter repeaters and then you can also use it for your your DMR. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go in. I just got home, so I'm gonna run inside. I'm gonna I'm gonna start googling that. Uh, MD twenty seventeen. I can use it on the repeaters I'm using now. So that's cool. All right. Well, I appreciate it, and uh, I'm gonna let you go. I'll get in there and start Googling. I don't have anything else to do today. 73, KG4 NW. Always a pleasure, Ross. Have a great one. KG4 NW, KW4 BET. I found one. TYT MD 2017 dual band DMR digital two way radio. What a big title that is for the price of one hundred and fifty nine dollars new in the box which is better be ip67 waterproof free shipping add to cart if i order today i get a microphone and a programming cable Credit card numbers here. Let me see my credit card is this one here. Bump, bump, bump. And then the verification code. Oh, man. God. Uh, all right. Got it. 
On the way. Wait a couple days. Be right back. Guess what? I just checked the mailbox. I got a new toy. We got an MD 2017. TYT DMR Digital Two Way Radio from by Two Way Radios dot com. Got to unbox it here. We got a little tab for verification. Manual radio. In the box. Oh yeah. Got to be a battery somewhere. Let's see. We know this is how we normally do it. Everybody does it the same way. Here we go. Couldn't they put that on already? Found upstairs. Right. <clears throat> so I'm assuming, I'm assuming there we go. All righty, I'm gonna put the clip on. We're gonna get this thing going. We're gonna talk on the radio. All right. Quit. I don't want it anymore. No, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I do. I want it. I gotta do this. One, two, three. <laughs> That's right. I'm bad. Alright, so now. I think I have to program it. I'm here in my own personal ham radio programming station. Check this out. Da -da 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 -da. My own personal ham radio programming station. Okay. So I just plug this in here. And then I got the... Well, this is pretty simple, right? Well, it's more than fingernail tight, so I'm going to have to get a screwdriver. Hold on. All right, 
got that thing off there. Put this little thing in here. Don't lose it. Cause it, it'll 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 hit the floor and it could possibly hit the floor and go on your counter where you can't find it. Okay. So just not that it happened to me or anything, just it um watch out for that. Here we are. Turn it on. Hold on. Alright. So I got the radio. I got the radio plugged up to the computer. I downloaded the software. Okay, now we're a few hours into this, so, uh, let's see, CPS 2017 program software. So I got the radio hooked up to the computer. Got the software up here. Located before BET sent me an email with a code plug, and all I should have to do is open the code plug because I don't understand anything on this software this ain't a explain what this stuff is video this is a I got my radio video okay so uh, open now I had to get a ID thingamajig so I did that and I, let's see, three, one, four, five, four, six, six. That's me, by the way. Radio name, I'm going to name it, Ross KG4NWE. Uh, hopefully everything else is right. Hopefully. So, uh, where's the, uh, Program write data. There we go. PC program USB mode. This thing looks like a little 1992. All right. Says monitor A local repeater PNR PRN PNR echo test. That must be the one where I can hear myself. Let's see. KG4 NWE echo test. Oh, you couldn't see it. It said my name on there. It said who I was. <laughs> it's pretty cool, Ross. Uh, uh, this is sounding good. Uh, you sound good, too. Over. It's pretty cool, Ross. Uh, uh, this is sounding good. Uh, you sound good, too. That's cool. Okay, so I guess the idea is that these radios are digital and it's more like a cell phone than it is a radio. You don't hear the analog static and you don't hear the noise. It's either there or it's not there. So uh, let's see if we could try to catch somebody. Um. PRN Rock Hill. This KG4 NWE monitoring PRN. Is anybody listening? Please, somebody talk to me. Well, nobody's there. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Already, uh, I gotta get my button gear.
here and um, get it all working so I can uh, don't have to spend any time when I get out to California and just turn it on and use it. But, um, yeah, my shark's been plugged in for months now, working without any problem. I think... So we got it right here. Check this out. That is an old project from uh, earlier. We're not going to talk about that. We got all this cool stuff. There's a charger. Charger. I need a little desk charger. Here's what it looks like. It looks like that. And then the radio sits in there just like that. And then... Oh! This goes on here. Mm-hmm. Some kind of way. That, don't need that no more. Don't need that no more. Don't need that no more. I'm not all about saving this stuff. Boxes and stuff. I just bought some because I wanted it. I didn't buy it because I'm going to sell it. Here we go. Charge the cable. Manual. Do I really need the manual? I reckon I'll hang on to it just in case I get crazy. I only think, I mean, it's good radio. Seems like it works. I've talked to a couple of people. Um, only thing, the only thing I cannot figure out about this box, I know it's supposed to be an unboxing video, but it was just sort of kind of maybe an unboxing video. Anyway, the only thing I haven't been able to figure out about this radio is this one thing right here, and I, I swear I cannot figure out what is this for. Maybe you guys can help me out. Was well, some kind of Chinese toy, or I mean, what is this? Anyway, radio. That's the MD twenty seventeen by TYT. This is KG4NWE, 73.